For years you've been going around calling yourself Mexican, Hispanic, Latino. These nations call you Spicks, Wetbacks, Brown People, Border Hoppers. But little do you know that this land belongs to you. That's right. So what we out here to try to find is the men that care about their people. You got so-called Hispanic babies being put in cages at the border. And then you got brothers up here partying as if it's okay. Where's the leaders at of the so-called Mexican nation? Where's the, where's the Hispanic leaders at? Where's the Cesar Chavez is at? Is there no more such thing as a Mexican leader? You got men standing out here, women standing out here, and you got your brothers and sisters being put in cages at the borders. The so-called black man cares about our brown brothers. That's right. Read. This is the book of Romans, chapter 13, verse 11. In that, knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than we believe. So the Bible says that you must know the time. If you was to ask a lot of you, a lot of you would say that you're Catholics, or that you're Christians, or that you believe in God. When we out here reading the Bible, the Bible says you gotta know the times that you're living in. You are the children of Issachar, the children of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That's right. Don't let these nations lie to you. Read. That now it is high time to awake out of sleep. The Bible says now. Not two weeks from now, not tomorrow. The Bible says now is high time to do what? To awake out of sleep. You gotta wake out the sleep you in. You so-called Mexicans build these communities for pennies on the dollar and get redeemed nothing. They take your children away from their parents and none of y'all give a damn. They take your children away from their parents and who cares? Everybody sitting there watching. Where's the men at? What, what happened to Cesar Chavez? The Brown Berets? What happened to the leaders of the so-called Mexican or Hispanic community? That's right. We got two of them right here that care. How do you sit there and call yourself a man and you got your brothers and sisters being put in cages right now? Where's the leaders at? My brother right here. What's his name? Who? Andreas. Well, right here. My brother right here. What's his name? I'm Brandon. Brandon? But what's the difference between a Mexican, Hispanic, or a Latino? Because they call you three different titles. Give me Isaiah 1 and 3. So which one is it? You look confused right now. Because one minute they call you a Mexican, one minute you'll be Hispanic, and one minute you're a Latino, but you look like one person. So why is there so much confusion on who you are? It's prophesied in the Bible what would happen to you. You had a man named Abraham, a man named Isaac, and a man named Jacob. Jacob had 12 sons, if you look on, those, on that sign. Those men had children that had children that had children. Those children rebelled against God, and this is what happened. Come close. I want you to see this. You see the lashes on that man back? That didn't just happen to the so-called black man. Because little do you know the so-called Hispanics went into slavery before we did. Bring it out. At the hands of the same people that taught you Catholicism. If you look at ask every Mexican in this community, they're going to all say they're Catholic. But they don't even know what it means. Right. The same Pope profited off of y'all slavery and y'all worshiped them. Little do you know the white man don't care about you. Bring it out. They use you. They took this land from you and then they put you in cages. The ox of his owner. So we're going to show you that this Bible is for you so-called Spanish. The Bible says the ox knoweth this owner, meaning a hard-headed person, a hard-headed animal. Read. And the ass his master's grip. You so-called Mexicans are correlated to an ass in the Bible. Hard-working with no pay. And the ass his master's grip. And the donkey knows his home. Read. But Israel, but Israel, that's you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. The Bible calls you Israel. Because think, you call yourself Mexican. Then you call yourself Hispanic. Then you call yourself Latino. They labeled you that. That's the label they put on you when they enslaved you. Just like they call me African American. They call me black. They call me Negro. They call me colored. They call me nigger. The same way they call you wetback, they call you speak, and you still honor and worship these people. Newsflash, Jesus Christ looked more like you than a white man. That's right. Jesus Christ is not white. You gotta come back to who you really are. You're an Israelite. you God's chosen people. Right. You're not a Mexican. You're not a Hispanic Latino. It don't even make sense. Mexico is just a place. Hispanic is just a place. Espanol. Latin is just a language. You're a people. But what people are you? You're the children of Israel. This is the book of Lamentations, chapter 5, verse 1. Bring it out. Remember, O oh Lord, what has come upon us. So the, the Mexican man back in the day, the Israelite man, they cried out and they asked God, remember what's going on with us, God. Remember how they got our children in cages right now. Remember what they doing to our mothers. 
They imprisoned our fathers. They took our land, God, that you gave to us. My brothers, my brother right here, I'm going to ask you a question. What's your name, bro? Israel. This your, your your sister, your brothers. Who are these people? These are people? These are all your cousins. I'm going to ask you a question, Israel. How old are you? You 15 years old. Do you know what's going on at the border with a lot of children your age? What they doing at the border right now to your people? Y'all, y'all come. My brother right here, come. Stop standing back there. You my brother, hermano. We familiar. Don't stand over there. Come close. I'm going to ask you a question. What do you, do y'all care about y'all men? Y'all young men, do y'all care about what's happening to your people right now? Yes. So let me ask you a question. How many of y'all been to a Cardi B concert? Or listen to Cardi B music? Yes. You listen to Cardi B music? Do you like it? Not really. You don't? That's good. Don't like it. They push music out that makes us brainwash us to call ourselves hoes. When the Bible calls us royalty, to be wives and mothers. But what they do is they push wickedness in your mind. Like right now, they don't teach you that you're a god on earth. They don't teach you that you're supposed to be ruling. If you look at the world, everybody follow the so-called black and Hispanic man. If the black, if the Mexican man put his hat backwards, you're going to see a Chinese man put his hat backwards. Right. If the Mexican man sag his pants, you're going to see the white man want to sag his pants and be just like you. That's right. Why does everybody follow you? Why does everybody follow you? Deuteronomy 76, because y'all are chosen. No. I'm going to ask you a question. What's your nationality or race? Central American. Central American. That's a place. But what's your race, your nationality? You're an Israelite. You know why it's so much confusion? Because of this. My brother, y'all, come look at this. I want to show y'all something. Look at this sign right here. Y'all see these images of what's on that brother back right there? That happened to your people before it happened to us. The so-called Mexican man went in slavery in 1492. When Christopher Columbus came and they took this land from y'all. Bring it out. But what I'm asking is, where's the people that care? They got brothers and sisters your age in cages right now. But where's the leaders at? Where's the real men at that's out here fighting for, for our people? Because y'all ever heard of Cesar Chavez? Cesar, what do you know about Cesar Chavez? It's been a minute. It's been a minute. Well, Cesar Chavez fasted and he fought. The same thing you see Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, the Brown Wade did. Cesar Chavez was a Mexican man that stood up to give rightful wages for his people. Because they wasn't paying y'all nothing. They were the same thing they do now. Y'all go and y'all build these whole communities and what do y'all get paid? Nothing. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 6. Uh -huh. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Bible says that the Mexican man is what? For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. This Bible is a history book. It was written by your forefathers. It wasn't a Bible written by the white man because I'm going to ask you a question. Y'all Catholic, right? How did I know that? Exactly. When you look at history, y'all know how y'all became Catholic? When the white man came over here, they gave this to y'all. They told you if you didn't worship this image right here, where's it at? If you didn't worship this image right here, you will be put to death. This is why your forefathers converted to this. The Bible said that Jesus Christ was dark skinned. If any of y'all been in Mexico, you can find Mexicans that's darker than me. You can find Puerto Ricans that's darker than me because this is the way that y'all look. The reason why y'all follow this is because it was forced on you. That's they right. told you that Jesus Christ was a white man. So guess what happens? Now when you see somebody that look like this, you see God. But when you see a brother that look like you, you want to get tough. When you see a white man walking up the street, you back up. No, 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 you can't touch him. He's clean. He's pure. He's white. Oh, but he's black, negro. He's dirty. Get him. You know why we do that? Because it's been instilled in our minds. But little do we know, we're literally the same people. Right. We're literally the same people. If you look on that sign over there, y'all are the children of Israel. Because to call yourself a Mexican, Mexican is just a place. Y'all are people. Because one minute they'll call you Mexican, then they'll call you Hispanic, then they call you Latino, Latina. Which one is it? Latinx. Which one is it? Nowadays, it, it, y'all don't even got a title. Just call us Bill. You can say, I want to be him now. I want to be her now. That's not according to the Bible. Give me lamentations. I want to show y'all what this Bible said about your forefathers. Because back in the day, when your forefathers wrote this Bible, they cared about what was going on with their people. Our brothers don't care now. We so lost in a new fashion. I wonder when the new Jordan is coming out. How can we sit here lost in that nonsense when our brothers and sisters are being put in jail right now? If ICE was to roll up right now, they would clear the block. Everybody is scattered like roaches. And this is your land. They came and they took this land from you. How can y'all sit there and call yourselves men when you let other people come into communities and take it from you? When you can let a person come in your community and take your child and say, move. And then you want to act tough when you go to school, and you want to act tough with them and them. But where was the toughness that when these people came and they took this land? 
This is the book of Lamentation, chapter 5, verse 1. Remember, oh Lord. So back then your forefathers said, remember God. Remember what? What has come upon us? What is happening to us? God, look upon us and see what's happening to us. We're being oppressed. We go to work and our fathers is coming back home like this. Walking like this with hunchbacks. And then you ask him, Paul, can you give me some new shoes? He can't afford it. But why your back looks like that? Like you've been working hard. He has been working hard, but he gets nothing. These people give him nothing. Read. Consider and behold our reproach. You know what a reproach is? When you go to a store in your community and you pay taxes on things that belong to you. Watch what the Bible says. Read. Verse 2. Our inheritance. Our inheritance. You want to know what the Mexican man or woman inheritance was? This land. Give me two minutes. I'm almost done. This land is your inheritance. This earth is your inheritance. Read. Watch this. Our inheritance is turned to strangers. Read. Our houses to aliens. Our houses to who? Our houses to aliens. You see that? The Bible says your land was given to aliens. What do they like to call our Mexican brothers and sisters? Illegal aliens. When the Bible said that the so-called white man is the alien, because this land belongs to you. We are orphans and fatherless. We are orphans and fathers because they took our fathers away from us. I'm almost done. One more. Our mothers are as widows. They, our mothers are widows because they took the men out of the homes. Read. We have drunken our water for money. We did what? We have drunken our water for money. You see what the Bible says? The Bible says that you would drink your water for money. How much is that we paying for something that's free? Now who's at, who, who's at the top of that? Because it ain't a black man oppressing you or another Mexican man who's oppressing us. Be honest. Who oppressing us? You said it. Who, who is it? The white man. That's right. So why are we fighting and tearing each other down when the real enemy is tearing us down together? So we over here killing and savaging each other and they doing it at the same time. How can we ever fix our community? Y'all gotta come back to who y'all really are. Y'all not Mexican and Spanish, Latino, that, that don't even make sense. Latin is a language. Mexican is a place. Y'all are a people. When you open up the history books, y'all are the chosen people of God. That's you right. wonder why you're the flyest at fashion? When you look at boxing, who do they always put in the boxing ring? A Mexican versus a black man. You know why? Because we the strongest in the fashion at everything. Canelo versus Mayweather. You got this Mexican versus this black guy. Why? When you look at sports, who dominated all the sports? Soccer, basketball, football, track, us, baseball, the so-called Mexican man and the so-called black man. Because why? Because God belongs to us and we belong to him. That's right, he chose us. That's why we differ from everybody. Come on, Acts 319. Because the main reason why I'm saying all this is we got to come out to idolatry. Catholicism is idolatry. All these Halloween is idolatry. Everything that takes you away from this Bible and who you really are is idolatry. You got to stop it. We leaders out here. You got real men that's trying to change the communities, but we need our brothers to come with us. Read. This is the book of Acts, chapter 3, verse 19. Uh -huh. Repent ye therefore and be converted. So in order to fix your community, the Bible says repent therefore and be converted. Who knows what converted means? Converted means change. You gotta change because just think, my brothers, my sisters, just think. The cycle that we've been following, it don't work. The same cycle of going to church, going to this, going, it don't work. The only thing that's gonna work is when we come back to who we truly are as the Israelites, and then Christ is gonna come and crack that sky, and then redemption is gonna come to this place. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed but at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. I, you, I, see, we deliver the truth.